everybody welcome to the service now star i'm here sharing a quick tip on using the service now script background what do we call it normally the background script so this background script has really it's got really the modern uh, coding uh, playground on the washington release so if you haven't yet upgraded your instance make sure you go ahead and upgrade your instance here I have a personal developer instance which I have already upgraded to the Washington DC release so that's where you can find it and the Washington release one thing I can tell you here is uh, once you upgraded uh, you will come here script and you'll see that script dash background that's what it is but if you have already a bookmark uh, previously uh, make sure you go ahead and delete that bookmark as well because this is the new one that you can find it so by clicking script dash background you will have this background script uh, uh, playground where you can write really a modern uh, script uh, using this uh, uh, background script now you can do all the things you know uh, what it really lacks is the save because normally uh, we run this background script to do some job, for example, delete record or creating or even testing some uh, background script. So that's the main thing right there. And it doesn't have any save button, which is fine. It also contain all the things that usually uh, that previously we have it. Uh, you can select the scope where you're going to run right here currently I'm on the global scope and also you can do a uh, record for rollback. Uh, it's automatically checked. You can remove that. And cancel after four hours is already checked and that something was already there okay now let's go ahead and do a simple simple background script that can go ahead and create an incident uh, an incident out of this background script so we can go ahead and quickly run and see uh, what are the things that I can get so you see by typing var I can see I can have uh, these different um, options can come for me if you are uh, var gr let's go ahead and put uh, equals here and i say new right as you type there are a lot of suggestions can come for you in glide glide record so as i go ahead and type right uh, you can get all the bell and whistle uh, what we really love doing this in the background uh, doing this in the business rule or a script include okay now let's go ahead and uh, put incident right here i'm gonna hit the incident table okay and you see that uh, you can have some context uh, help as well here glide record is a table comma incident uh, incident glide record incident okay you got that kind of cool uh, thing is here so i'm gonna go ahead and put a semicolon to make sure my code run correctly so if i say gr dot initialize okay we're gonna go ahead and initialize all uh, right let's go ahead and put um, this here after we initialize uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, glide record uh, to the uh, description you see that uh, you know i don't need to type in all the description is here as well right description and then from there i'm gonna say i'm gonna uh, say description let's put it in um, quotation here i'm gonna say test okay we'll create we'll create an incident uh, and we'll say that description to be test and from there gr dot you see right gr dot what add active query encoded query and all the things right there all right gr dot insert okay inserts right there insert so we're gonna go ahead and insert and let's go ahead and put okay we're gonna close and then if we go ahead and run this background script uh, you'll see that it's automatically created an incident for us all right not only incident so it also telling us that notification was sent or executed out of this and then um, this notification there was no recipient uh, for that so sign to was empty see you can, you can you are getting all this cool information so if you go ahead and click on this number one which is a link here uh, the record that is created uh, you can see you can directly go to the incident that has been created okay incident number right there and also um, that's the number right there and the document it incident INC. so the rollback sequence right so if i click the incidents um, i can go ahead and um, 
take a look at that incident okay incident awesome awesome all right okay yep right there description test with the description of taste uh, it's automatically created so that is the cool part of background script you can go ahead and create uh, you know record this or you can delete record or even you can test your uh, script include or any script that you are writing for that need to be run in the background using the script background here so got this all the bell and whistle to go ahead and write your code that what you love in background script so that is the tip and trick I have for you um, where you can get it here in Washington DC release so if you haven't yet upgraded your instance or your clients not yet decided to upgrade to the Washington DC release which is going to be available very soon for the public make sure you consider that it's got a lot of cool features and thank you for watching this video uh, if you haven't yet like it or share it, please go ahead and like and share that will really help us to uh, make more content um, um, okay that's that's all I have thank you and if you have any uh, tips and tricks you want to share uh, to me or to to the service now star committee here please go ahead and put it in the comment all right we'll see you until uh, on another one uh, have a great day everybody bye Welcome, Welcome to the to Service the Now Start on YouTube. YouTube. Go, to Go to Destination for All Things Service, service now. now. Whether you are a seasoned IT, IT profession, profession or just dive into, into the world, world, world of enterprise solutions, join us at this door to master service now. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell. Never miss